Okay, here with Sebastian Weber, who is the uh, trainer for T-Mobile. Uh, why don't you just introduce yourself to, uh, to us and tell us exactly what you do for the team. Yeah, hello. Um, I'm, yeah, as a team coach, I pretty much work with uh, every rider. Um, I you know, work as an advisor on their training, um, advise a personal coach if, if they have one, and in case they don't have a personal coach, a lot of riders, riders work with me together as a personal coach. And you joined the team in October, you said? Yeah, I joined the team when you know, the team was rebuilt, so I'm part of the new, new building process of the team staff, yeah. Now, how closely will you work with the riders during this, once the season gets into place? You'll be in contact with them on a daily basis, weekly basis, depending on? Um, you know, it depends. It depends on the riders that have the personal, personal coach for a long time, has good experience with that. We want to use that experience so we don't kick them out. We, you know, I use it like, like as a... I work as a backup maybe, mm -hmm. and when the season starts, um, with some riders I work pretty close together, and some riders on the team I already worked together before I joined the team. Um, and then, yeah, it, you know, and some, and some, sometimes it will be on a daily basis, and sometimes on a weekly. And it depends on the rider. Yeah, we heard some reports that uh, the riders will not be able to work with individual trainers, but that's not true, evidently. Um, it depends on the trainer. No, it's, if it's a trainer, then they're allowed to do. If it's uh, some kind of doctor, then they're not. Okay. So, that's, so, that's, so that's, uh, that's the difference. If it's really a coach, um, the coach that is allowed by the team, is satisfied, um, certified by the team, then it's okay. But for any you know, uh, Italian doctors with uh, suspicious uh, history, um, no. Okay. Now, the, um, You've been brought in, perhaps, to, to kind of help rebuild this team. Uh, what's, what's been your mandate? What's, what have they told you to do in terms of working with Dr. Heinrich or the other, uh, other people on staff? Um, it, was, it was in the beginning. It, you know, it didn't, didn't came up with the question, what should I do for the team? It was more like, what can we do together for the team? So um, I got asked to, to be the coordinator of the training and work with every rider and every personal co coach as an advisor. Uh, and then it came up that we um, also include some new performance testing methods and work together with nutritionists and work together with um, the guys that supply the tools like training peaks or SRM systems. It sounds like that this team really has everything it needs to, to really uh, to help the athletes do the best they can. Um, yeah, it, you know, um, for me it was it really was was a chance um, to join almost because of that reason, uh, because it, it was a chance to really um, to really apply some methods in interdisciplinary fields. So join different fields like nutrition, like biomechanics, like medicine, training, um, and you know combine these methods and therefore get some effects by combining it. At this level of the game, the rider needs every, all the help he can get, really, to, to be successful, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we're talking about we're talk, talking about little percentages of performance increasement. So, um, therefore, you would really need um, sophisticated, high-end tools. Yeah. And uh, as a trainer, what's what's most rewarding to you? Is it is it uh, when it, when a rider wins a race, or when a rider you, you have a close relationship with them and he, he, he thanks you? What, what do you get out um, of it? A thank. Thank is very important. Yeah, that's that's something very nice. And um, best thing is a big big improvement. Big improvement is what really you know, um, what you know would be would be very nice. The biggest improvements uh, can it can be from a, from a lower basis, so that maybe not a victory race, but still, it's, you know, it's a it's a biggest thing for me. Yeah. And what's the uh, what's the secret life of, of a bike racer? Are, are these guys? Uh, Easy to work with? Are they hard to work with, or is it everybody's kind of different? I would imagine everybody's kind of different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some um, some some cyclists just some riders just came in the beginning when 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 we first met, and you know asked for help, and some some are really carefully and more sensitive. So you know things develop, um, and um, with some riders in or with every rider individually, things develop. How you close how close you you work together and how close you need to work together because there are some riders that have a very good feeling of their body and don't need that much advice and some other riders really want you one-on-one -on -one directly and get totally exactly detailed told what to do with training and what not so it's really independent has the response overall been, been pretty positive in terms of having the having a, a full-time trainer having these facilities available yeah. to the yeah. riders? yeah in general yes definitely
because it, it helps them win bike races. That's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about, and that's what their job is, and that's what, what they get paid for, and that's what we are all heading for in the team. All right, great. Special thanks for your time. Thank you. All right, thank you very much.